right, what's up guys? Back again today, we're just gonna have some quick breakfast and basically we walked loads yesterday. Um, so we were really tired, so we didn't really wanna walk loads today and get up early. Where are we going? Beihai Park, which is really nice. It should be big views of the city from high up. Pretty cool fruit salad, potato things, little strawberry things. Alright, that's a lie. We're going to Jinshang Park, which is a high up place, and then the other one, which is. What's the other one? And then Beihai Park. Was just... Alright, so we thought we'd take a bike, motorbike thingy, because otherwise it would have taken us probably about an hour to walk. Great walk. Uh, no. <laughs> we, we went. Already been. Okay, so if my measurements are correct, we're somewhere in between these squiggles and these. So um, we fell for a pretty common thing. So we got in a little bike uh, taxi, his friend like translating, he said 50. We get in, we get to the destination, and then he says, yeah, it's 50 each. So I always, always ask if it's like the total price or if it's. This is what the professionals do. You start really far away and then you pan in all the way down. I'm doing my vlog, I told you about my entrance. Exit. So both the entrance and the exit. Alright, so I'm walking all the way up to the top because I want a really good shot from of Beijing from the top of the tower, although it's like, I think about 30 degrees. I'm gonna trudge through it to get a really good picture. You can already see right into the distance, you can see the skyline a little bit. But this is gonna be, the, I think this is the highest point in Beijing. And we're climbing to it on the hottest day so far. Finally made it to the top and it wasn't actually that bad. It only took about, to be honest, 10 minutes. And now we can see this giant observational viewpoint, which if you watched um, I think yesterday's vlog, you would have seen that, which we saw from all the way down there. Alright, we're taking the quick way down. See, we practice for this by climbing the Great Wall. So this isn't actually that difficult now. Just a few little bits of rock, a few steps. We go this way. Oh, we go this way. This way. Exactly the decision. Okay, that sounds good. Good plan. I can't tell if we've been in there before or not. It looks so similar. Let's see what she's painting. Pretty good. There's loads of really cool bonsai. Thank you. 
still getting there. So we've come to this uh, this park here. It's got loads of lakes and trees and everything because it was pretty much exactly next to where we just were. Nice trees, nice, nice little tower. I don't know what that thing is, but that white tower you just saw, we can go actually up to the top of that. So it would have been like an extra ticket just to get into that building a little bit. You couldn't really get to the very top of it anyway, so we wouldn't have been able to get a nice view, but either way, I think we've got as high as we can get in Beijing. I think this is based on the old idea that the world's flat and it's actually a plane on a turtle's back and the world's held up by four pillars. I don't know, I might be wrong, but that's what it looks like. First thought, which was that's a white tiger, I think was wrong. It's in fact just a fairly small white cat. For a little bit and uh, relax. Oh, decided to grow my hair really long, by the way. You guys think that would be a good idea. Anyway, I'm gonna do it. Alright, so we're gonna go and have a look at the shops, maybe go and get dinner. We're going to find the best place to eat, and it's this place right here. You can tell the place is good because we have a ticket and we have to we have to wait for a table to become available. Normally this whole area here is just packed with people waiting. So we've ordered I think about <coughs> I think about five pounds worth of food. But we can't tell we can't tell how much it is. This is a load of vegetables and spinach. So I haven't made a video about this yet, but basically this is how I use, it's probably wrong, this is how I use chopsticks. I've got the one in my hand resting against my thumb like this, and the other one I just move with, when you pick something up you sort of move this finger, so it goes like this. Spider horse, spider horse, does whatever. <laughs> Have you ever been so desperate to sing karaoke while you're out in public? Well, now you can. Karaoke booths. The shopping malls just seem like they're their own city. You just keep walking for miles. We're now, I think, two or three floors underground. Some sort of toy store. This is like Meccano, or, I don't know, I used to play something like this when I was a kid. Microchips and computers built into it. At least the goldfish get to listen to the music all day, if they can even hear things. Finally found a shoe my size. It's like Pan's Labyrinth in here. Look at this. How much to uh, the other hotel? 